Hi, I'm Julie. We're at Center 64 right now, and today I'm going to show you how to make these rainbow ornaments. For the materials, you'll need different colored yarn. I have a couple different colors here. You'll need some wire. I just got these from the dollar store. Some ribbons, pom-poms, felt fabric, wire cutter, scissors, and some hot glue. And that's it! We can get started! So the first thing you'll need is the wire. What I'm going to do is just measure out how big I want the outer rainbow to be. And once I'm happy with the size, I'm just going to take the wire cutter and make a snip. Ta-da! Okay, so next I'm going to choose my yarn. I'm going to start with the pink here. And what I'm going to do is just with one hand, hold on to the yarn and just start wrapping. Make sure you wrap over the loose end so it keeps it in place. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just wrap it all along the length of the wire. And you can go over it a couple times just to get your desired thickness. So I finished wrapping my yarn around the wire and now to end off, I'm going to put the yarn around my index finger make a loop. I'm going to cut off the yarn and then pull the string through to make a knot. Pull it tight and I'm going to cut off the excess piece of yarn. For my second layer of rainbow, We'll use the first layer as a guide. We'll tuck the wire under the first layer. We want it to be slightly smaller than the first layer. Once you have that tucked under and roughly measured, we can take our wire cutter and cut it off. And this is ready to be wrapped. I choose blue for my second layer of rainbow. Repeating what I did with the first layer, I'll hold my loose yarn with one hand and start wrapping with the other. Make sure you go over the loose end so it stays tucked and secured onto the wire. Once again, to end off your rainbow, Wrap the yarn around your finger. Cut off the loose yarn, thread it through the hole, and pull it tight. And you can cut off the excess. All right, so on to our third layer of rainbow. We'll use our first two layers as guide. The third layer will be slightly smaller than the second. So taking the blue layer, I'll tuck my wire underneath it to get my size. Make a cut and it's ready to go. And I'm on to my fourth layer, which is also my last layer. You get pretty quick at wrapping by then. All right, now that we've finished four layers of rainbows, we can align them up, stacking them one on top of the other. After aligning the layers, we bend them to the curve of the rainbow. 
Once you have your curve, we'll take our felt fabric, place the rainbow on top, just like so. Take my Sharpie and draw the outline of the rainbow. With the outline of our rainbow, we can now cut it out. Remember to cut inside the lines so on our white cutout, you don't see the black Sharpie. This cutout serves as a backing for our strands of rainbow to be hot glued onto. But before we do that, I'm going to take my ribbon make a loop and hot glue that to the center of my cutout and this is how our rainbow can be hung to different places as decor. Once you finish hot gluing the hook, I'm going to add hot glue all along to the top of my backboard. Take my first layer of rainbow and gently press down onto it. And here's how it looks. I'm going to repeat that process for all the different layers by adding hot glue beneath it and pressing my different layers of rainbow onto it. Before gluing on my last layer of rainbow, I notice that there's excess fabric. So I'm going to trim it off just so when I have my last layer of rainbow, there's no white fabric showing through. And here's how it looks so far. Not quite done yet. Let's cover up the ugly ends with some pom-poms. Counting out five pom-poms for each side, I'll make a cut. And this forms the perfect little puff of clouds to hide my ends. Taking our hot glue, we'll attach our pom-poms together at the ends. To stick our rainbow into the center of the clouds, I'm going to add hot glue to the bottom of my rainbow and stick it into the hole and gently press the hot glue onto the pom-poms. We'll repeat that for the other side. there you have it, our finished yarn pom-pom rainbow. I hope this tutorial was clear enough for you to follow along and that you want to make one yourself. Let me know how yours turn out. Thanks for watching. Bye!